Good morning, guys. Although, maybe when I upload this, it won't be morning. Or it won't be morning whenever you're watching. But, good morning. It's morning for me. Um, I want to do a quick video to show how to milk a goat, basically. Um, and what I have here, I'm ready for her. What I have here in this bowl is a mixture of alfalfa and beet pulp and black oil sunflower seeds and then like a grain mix all together to help keep the goat busy and um, provide her with some great nutrition and vitamins for sweet delicious milk. So I'm gonna go get her and hopefully you'll get to see her kind of run in and she knows what to do um, and she'll run in here and hop up on the stand and then I'll get ready to show you how to milk. All right, and the first thing that you wanna do before you milk is get her secure in her milking stand. And what I have right here is a jar of soapy water and I just clean off the udders really quick like this, just to get any germies and stuff off and have a clean surface. And then I'm just gonna dry them, not really elaborate and then one of the first things I want to do too before I milk into the milk pan is do a squirt from each one just to kind of clear them out and again just get any germs or bacteria that are on the ends there just flushed out. And I hope I can get a good angle and show you guys um, how to milk. Alright, so as you can see, I've already started milking, um, just to kind of let her know I'm back here so she won't be hopping around because she's used to me working pretty fast, um, but I gave her a lot of food to keep her distracted, so hopefully she won't kick, but I'll get a close up and show you guys how to milk a goat by hand. So what you want to do is kind of, the way I always do it is kind of make a ring with my hand like this and kind of go up as high as I can without grabbing the actual udder. Go up as high as I can on the teat and then trap the milk because you're not pulling the milk out. You're lifting up and trapping it and then you're kind of just squeezing it out and bringing your fingers down almost like a ladder one at a time but the motion is just really fast um, once you have a lot of practice and it looks like this. So again, you aren't pulling. Notice my arms aren't jerking up and down. You're just trapping the milk in the teat and see how it bulges out? That's just full of milk and squeezing that out. And then you're just doing it with two hands, but I'm doing it with one right now to show you. So I'm going to set the camera back and show you how I milk the goat. Alright, so I've milked her out pretty much almost completely and what you want to do now when you feel like she's pretty empty and close to being done is I kind of do a little bump of the udder like how the kids would do and bump them and then squeeze out what's in there and you kind of just get a feel for when it's time to give up see how I'm just getting the thinnest little streams of milk there just wait a second some people massage and then bump and then squeeze out a little bit more and I kind of just do that because she if she's still busy eating you know there's no harm in that and all it's going to do is encourage her 
to just make more milk. Because when you empty them out, just like a human, um, the more you keep them empty and encourage that, the more milk they're going to make. And that's good. I think she's done. And there's, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Our delicious milk is in there. I'll show you guys. There's our milk. I don't want to pour it out. All right, and that was it. Um, pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Uh, your hand muscles definitely need to uh, work up to doing it quickly. Um, and there is some cramping initially in your hands, but um, really simple. I usually get her milked in less than five minutes and I have more than two pints. Um, and then as soon as she's done eating, cause I like to wait and just give her time to be done. And now she's done. Um, I'm going to go let her babies out of the stall and show you guys the happy reunion every morning. All right, let's go let some babies out. So you can see mama. Come on. And there they go. Been away from mama all night. Now they're going to get what's left of the milk. And they will nurse off her throughout the day and get plenty of milk. They're actually old enough to be weaned now, but she's still feeding them. And that's fine. All right, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.